Roosevelt Island is an island in the East River between the boroughs of Queens and Manhattan. That's two miles long, 800 feet wide, and has 14,000 people living on it. And it's my hometown. It's a real small, uh, small neighborhood, small town community. I lived on Roosevelt Island 36 years. And in 19. Uh, 69, the state of New York rented the island or leased it from the city of New York for 99 years and under the guidance of Governor Nelson Rockefeller, they built in a community. The island was named, renamed Roosevelt Island and the first 5,000 people started moving onto the island in 1975. I came here in 1976. The bridge above us is the Queensboro Bridge, better known mm -hmm. as the Ed Koch Bridge, better known as the 59th Street Bridge from Simon and Garfunkel. And it opened in 1909. It is a cantilever bridge, which means that the bridge is supported by a third of it in Manhattan, a third of it in Queens, and a third of it on Roosevelt Island. Island, we have six designated landmarks. These are buildings that were preserved, all of which were built in the 1800s. The Chapel of the Good Shepherd, which was built in 1889 and designed by Frederick Clark Withers. Now it's our Catholic chapel and our Episcopal chapel. The Octagon, which was originally the entrance to the New York City Pauper Lunatic Asylum. The Lunatic Asylum functioned from the 1840s until 1895. And in 2006, it was renovated, and it is now the entrance to an apartment house. But the uh, landmark octagonal entrance has been preserved and beautifully restored. The lighthouse, which was uh, built in the 1870s, also designed by James Renwick, Jr. And it was the northernmost tip of the island and it's the confluence of the East River, the Harlem River, and the Long Island Sound, and it, the area has very dangerous tidal currents, so it was very important that a lighthouse be there to prevent the uh, ships from crashing into the, in these treacherous waters. Three little statues in the water, and they are called the Marriage of Real Estate and Money a guy like muddy bags being pulled down by the real estate interest and a lobster grabbing at people. So they're very symbolic of a little bit of greed. There's the building you're in now, which is the Roosevelt Island Historical Society Visitor Center, which is a 1909 former entrance to a trolley car station. And this building is 220 square feet. The Historical Society adopted this, music, this building and had it relocated onto the island. And since 2007, it's been a visitor center and the place where we welcome tourists and visitors and give them information and tell them all about the island. And it's a very, it's a very fun place to work. I have a staff of about five people who work here. We're open six days a week. And it's a very nice introduction to the island. That's the fun of living here.